Proclaim the salvation of God day by day. Tell among the nations his glory. Good morning. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Bartholomew, one of the twelve apostles, also known as Nathaniel, as we'll hear in the Gospel of John in just a few moments. And we offer this morning's Mass for John and Harry McDermott. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord of Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord of God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son, and grant that through the help of his prayers your church may become for all the nations the sacrament of salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. The angel spoke to me, saying, Come here, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. He took me in spirit to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It gleamed with the splendor of God. Its radiance was like that of a precious stone, like jasper, clear as crystal. It had a massive high wall with twelve gates where twelve angels were stationed, on which names were inscribed, the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. The wall of the city had twelve courses of stones as its foundation, on which were inscribed the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. 
Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom, making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages, and your dominion adores through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Love that that image of that Jesus says that you'll see the heavens opened, the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. It's an image of Jacob's ladder, that connection between heaven and earth that was forged by the incarnation. Such a beautiful image of what happens right here on this altar as the angels of God descend and ascend with the sacrifice to the sight of God in heaven as we pray so beautifully in the first Eucharistic prayer. Today we celebrate the feast of, of St. Bartholomew. Nathaniel is also known as in the Synoptic Gospels. He's identified as Bartholomew in the Gospel of John. It's Nathaniel, one of the twelve, one of the closest friends of, of Jesus who took the Gospel as is believed, over to the far east, the Indian surrounding areas where he made known 
the name of Jesus, where he made known the splendor of the gospel. Eventually he was martyred and flayed alive. Sounds a horrible way to, to die. Usually Christian art depicts St. Bartholomew as holding his own skin. The martyrs were so, so committed to Jesus. It was so totally belonged to him that nothing in this world could ever stop them or make them fear. All they cared about was, was being united to the heart of Jesus and making him known and loved out there in the world where he is so desperately needed. The apostles, the bishops, the pope, the martyrs, the saints, you and me, we all have our own unique call, our own way of living the gospel and making the name of Jesus known. But whether we're called to shed our blood or called to be a priest or bishop or called to be a religious or faithful lay person, all of us are the same in that we're called to be believers, convicted in our faith. We're called to be disciples of Jesus, friends of Jesus. In that, our call is all the same. As we read in that psalm, your friends, O Lord, make your name known to the ends of the earth. What does it mean to be a friend of Jesus, to be a friend of anyone? When we're friends with somebody, we know them on a more intimate level. We know them and they know us. An intimate friendship, a deeper knowledge of a person, a love that cannot be destroyed. Jesus wants that friendship from us. He knows us intimately. He wants us to know him intimately. Two things that are said in that gospel which are so important, I think. The first thing Jesus says when he sees Nathaniel, that there is a man with no guile, no duplicity, no, no sign of deception, any mixture of of, of truth in his heart, a man with a pure heart, who was guileless, who had no deceit on his tongue, as the Psalms uh, uh, proclaimed the just man, one without deceit, right? The minute we let deception seep into our hearts, that's where the devil gets his, his entry point, right? That's what, that's what the devil is, the father of lies. That's what the original sin was, a lie. The minute we don't live in the truth, there's a darkness that, that the devil just, just gravitates towards. That's such a good image for us to keep in our minds, to be without duplicity, to be who we appear to be, to have no mixture in our hearts or motivations, have no gossip going on in our lives, only to live in the truth, only to want to be united to the heart of Jesus, only to want to allow his beauty to be seen in and through us. And duplicity really obfuscates that beauty. And when Jesus saw Nathanael, he said, Nathanael saw him and said, how do you know me? And Jesus said, I saw you under that fig tree. And that moment, Nathanael knew that this man, this man is the Christ. This is the Son of God. What were they doing under that fig tree? That's where they would gather to talk about deep things of faith, of scripture, and, and of the coming of the Messiah. They were waiting anxiously for the Messiah to come. And as they're speaking about these things, here is Jesus coming to him and saying, there's a man with no duplicity. He just knew by an interior grace of the Holy Spirit that this man knows me. He knows everything about me. He knows my heart. This is the one that we are waiting for. The beautiful experience to, to experience that we are loved by God, that we are known by God, that he knows every hair in our head, that he knows every thought in our hearts. He knows our, our fears, he knows our worries, he knows our desires, he knows what we're capable of and not capable of. He knows our sins and our weaknesses and our potential for greatness. And all he wants us to do is to just entrust ourselves to him, to become his friends, and to allow him to do something beautiful for our world through us. We are the friends 
of Jesus. And we need to make him known out there in that world by living in communion with him, thinking with the mind of Jesus, seeing others through the eyes of Jesus, and loving with the heart of Jesus. So like Nathaniel and all the apostles, we too can make him known and loved in a world that so desperately needs to know and to love him. Trusting that in faith we will see great things, we offer our petitions to our merciful Father. That the Holy Spirit may nurture in our bishops the missionary zeal of Bartholomew and the other apostles, in whose succession they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the peace of Christ may touch all nations and lead them to tolerance, understanding, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those experiencing grief or emotional anguish, especially in these times, may be freed by the Holy Spirit from all their distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That members of this faith community in times of doubt and fear may experience the strong and comforting hand of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick or are suffering in any way, especially our parishioners in hospitals and nursing homes, our homebound, those listed in our bulletin and those we hold in our hearts and bring end to this pandemic, the cure for the coronavirus, for all those who suffer from it and those who care for them, for those who have died from it and for their families, and for all those suffering in so many other ways in this difficult time. We For peace throughout our world, throughout our country, the strife, the division will end, and that God will bring peace to every human heart, and to our world, our country, and our families. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, and in a very special way, for John and Harry McDermott, for whom this Mass is offered, that they may be called by Christ into the splendor of the heavenly Jerusalem. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the intentions we hold in the silence of our own hearts that we bring to offer at this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of glory, we praise you with the angels and saints and thank you for hearing our prayers. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. For it will be earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> and the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share with the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine that we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God, Lord. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice and your sacrifice today be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. 
as we celebrate anew the feast day of St. Bartholomew, O oh Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help through the intercession of the Apostle, in whose honor we bring you this sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from me, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence 
and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Christ, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of God, 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 Thank you. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul. For those joining with us at home, we make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you were already there, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. As we celebrate the feast day of the Blessed Apostle Bartholomew, we have received the pledge of eternal salvation, O Lord, and we pray that it may be of help to us, both now and for the life to come, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundations, graciously bless you through the glorious merits of the holy apostle Bartholomew and all the apostles. Amen. Amen. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the apostles, make you, under their protection, witnesses to the truth before all. Amen. Amen. So that through the intercession of the apostles, you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by their teaching, you possess firmness of faith. Amen. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan. 